So one of the basic really useful patterns uh, that you can use within scales or in a lot of situations, um, I've heard it referred to as thirds, which doesn't make sense. If you play a third interval, and then, and then keep building that in the, within the same key signature, you get that kind of sound. And right there I'm playing the, the intervals up the neck. But you can also play it in one position, and you get that kind of a sound. And I'm sure that your ear picks that up pretty pretty easily. You know, it's do 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 do. So I had practiced that that uh, that sequence a lot, and I got the idea to try it using harmonics. Um, so imagine for a second that we have a scale where the harmonics are. Uh, the strong harmonics on the guitar, we've got some on the 7th fret, we've got some on the 5th fret, and we have some little weaker ones, but they're still okay, on the 4th fret. So I'm going to use a scale that's all those shapes. 4th fret, 5th fret, 7th fret. And if I did the 3rds pattern with the fretted notes, it would sound like this. I'm going to do it one more time slower. And now the whole reason I did this, because this really doesn't fit into a scale when it's all that one fret, or all the same frets, is I want to try it using harmonics. So instead of fretting the note, I'm going to hit the harmonic. And it's a, it's a good challenge for your left hand dexterity and also for your picking, because you do have to pick every note in that case. There we go, one more time, see if I can get that last note cleaner. 